YouTube man, I'm amateur artist Mark <coughs> D. Chandler, as you might as well know from Manland. I just got home from work and look at this. What is this? I mean, man, what is this? It's the Razor Cookie Dude! Dude! What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Razor Cookie Cookie Show. <laughs> I'm Razor Cookie, and this is Wolf TV. Now I'm going to do a cooking show. I've been tagged by Donnie Paolini. I think he's been tagged by the country prepper to do a dinner tag. So here's my dinner tag. I'm going to look over here. This is when you turn that one on. And this is a... Uh, Bo. Bo the Maco. Oh, oh Bo. No, Bo Maco. Maco. No, no, yeah, that's money. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm holding this thing. Uh, this thing here, blinky red light on this thing. This is a nice little walking stick. I like it, yeah, too. I sure do. All right, here is my eight tags, my eight dishes. I got a couple more dishes than normal. What we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, debone this chicken. We got some thighs. Then we're gonna, uh, today's lunch menu is gonna be uh, chicken, chicken. We're gonna have critical fries. And uh, uh, yeah, we could have a little meal with the shrimp. Well, we can do that tomorrow. That's one meal. And I'm going to show you one more how I prepare this. Then we have the second meal, which is rice, arone, la frosty, pisto, frit, and ragu. I got the uh, combo. That's the second meal with shrimp. Then we got the third meal, which is uh, broccoli cheese with uh, crab delight, which is the fake crab, which is the best. Now we're going to fry our chicken. We got some vegetable order. And our other, we're going to use our fish fry. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this meal. It's a special meal. Then we got our, um, this is for the people who go out to, damn. <laughs> You're really close there, Bobo. <laughs> and we're going to have, uh, this is for those pikers who goes out piking light. I'm going to show make a meal with that. And some barbecue sauce for the fried fries and the chicken. We're not going to do no fried shrimp. We're just going to take the tails off. <laughs> and that's it. And we got the uh, these little packs. This is for the pipe. Yeah. Pipe. Yeah. <laughs> pipe packers. Okay. And we're going to put that with the uh, white chicken that comes in little packs and is light. You don't have to freeze it. All right. That's where our ingredients. This onion was added later on. I don't know what we were using for. So, let's get cooking. Uh, 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 let's get cooking, Bo. Action. Action? What are you talking about action? I know all there is to know about action. All right, we're going to fry some good old southern fried chicken. Now, let me let you all know a little something here. here. Here's a secret. Okay, now here's a secret. You got to have a pot. You got to have a pot first in order to fry some chicken, right? All right, now we put the pot there, right there, and we got to add some earl. Always got to have some earl here in your pot. Now, how much earl you put in there, that just depends on how many folks and youngins you're trying to feed. Now, we're going to put about that much in there. Now, if that's a cup, two cups, ten cups, I don't know, but there it goes right there. So, at this point right here, oh, oh yeah, we got to turn it on, too. Always turn on your canab over there. Now at this point, I'm gonna bring in the real expert. I search wide and low. Uh, she's pretty wide and mighty low. <laughs> uh, Martha, not Martha Stewart. This is Martha uh, Stewart's uh, second cousin, twice removed. That type of thing. We cannot keep up with uh, her or who she's been with. So here's Martha. Gonna take over here with this cooking episode. All right. And today we're gonna show you how to cook the. Special ingredients for the chicken vagaboos. Alright, first you want to take your knife and open the package as well. Alright, what you want to do is debone the chicken. See, I got the cheap chicken. You have to debone it first. After you debone the chicken, you want to get a mustard. What kind of mustard? Yellow mustard. <laughs> Then you want to put that 
and some type of bowl that I don't have yet. Right there, right there, yeah. Right no, there. no, no, I was gonna put oh. the fish fry. Where oh, yes, oh, yes, how yes, about yes, this one? Yes. I do the fish fry. Yeah. Oh, yes, another thing you need is fish fry for your delicious meal. Hey, boy, I know you. You're Donnie Pavolini. Donnie Pavolini Outdoors, aren't you? I'm Donnie Pavolini of Donnie Pavolini Outdoors. Oh, Donnie, that was just a quick shout out. <laughs> Fish fry and mustard. I'm like, what the hell are you cooking, Ranger Cookie? All right, now. What do I want to Get your and pour it in your little bowl. Then you take your mustard and you put it in the other bowl. And now we're going to do the processing of the meat. I have prepared all the meat to put in the uh, mustard. Now the uh, the little mo bony parts you can keep because it's still got a little meat on it. Mm -hmm. Little meat. Oh, 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 oh. So we're gonna put that on the saw today. Now what I do is put it in your fish fry. Make sure they cut pretty small. Then you buy. You can hear the chicken bark. Shut up. that we fried with the mustard and the, and the fish fry up close. Look at that. And now this is the finished product of the chicken and mustard and fish fry. Now we're going to cook a very basket with the fries and the chicken. Alright, to do that we must have french fries. Mm, french fries? We have to put it in the mustard. Not to spill it on the floor, like a riri. And you want to stir it. <laughs> Alright, now you want to do your french fry the same way as you do the chicken. Then after you do your french fries with the mustard, see? You throw it in the fish fry. You stir it up. Should we throw it inside the piece of chicken in? Did you say you stir it or do you stare at it? You stare at it and it mixes. Yeah! And today, this is the finished product of using mustard and fish fry to serve it. Bring the camera with you. A meal for bushcrafter. <laughs> and I'm having a very special guest over for lunch today. My manland. Excuse me, mademoiselle. <laughs> Is he seat taken? No. If you don't mind, I will hit myself to sit down so that I can sit here and try some of this very fine German French wine. It is very cloudy, but I understand that it has a wonderful kick. Would you like some wine, my dear? Yes, my friend. Don't forget, let me have a share. Yesterday was a wonderful bouquet. You're driving. <laughs> you bored me, son, you bastard! <laughs> okay, my dear. Just do not tell your husband. Where's my lipstick? I must say that this meal looks very, very delicious, and I could smell it cooking. It was absolutely sexy. <laughs> Not that sexy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All the silliness aside, no. Ranger Cookie has done this wonderful meal, and uh, when he was cooking it, the smell was out of this world. It was, at, I mean, it was great. We have been sampling this as we're cooking. But I'm going to do the official man man taste test. Without anything else, this is, I mean, this is it.
That is absolutely out of this world. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> the fries need some ketchup. Not. To the Green Cup Club. To the Green Cup Club. If you're not a member yet, you Get can you, you can fix that very easily. Stanley Adventure Camp cooks it. Oh, that's some good wine. I will tell you, what. I do. Tastes a lot like tea. Yeah, that is wine tea. Mm. Now remember, I was challenged by Dolly Palomini to do eight dishes. This is my first dish, and I don't have a crock pot and all kids, so I'm going to make my normal eight dishes. My the cookie, Ranger cookie way. Yes, we need ketchup. I always need a little ketchup. Never complain. Especially the fries. The fries wasn't... Tell me what's enough. There! Did you hear that sound? That was the sound of bowel, bowel rupturing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's a good one too. And of course, now with me, I gotta have my hot sauce. I can't live without my hot sauce. Damn you, boy! Keep that in the video. <laughs> Would you like some hot sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. He's not exactly hot. <laughs> Hey, what happened? Hey, <laughs> so, dipping. Oh, try the French fry. Mm. A little bland, huh? No. Oh. Actually, it's not because you bought the unseasoned fries. Yeah, that's right. The mustard on this thing is absolutely out of this world. It has the right amount of seasoning, salt, and everything included. Uh, of course, now the fish fry, the batter on the outside, puts that extra layer on there. These things are soft. On the inside, crunchy on the outside. The boy knows how to cook. I have to give it to you. Mr. Ranger, I appreciate that. I'm going to actually utilize this recipe in one of my manland style. Y'all can guess what I'm going to do this, with this right here. You know, how about some yellow frog mustard? Legs. Yellow mustard frog legs. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, this is Amateur Arts Mark D. Channel wishing you all a very happy YouTube experience. And I'm Ranger Cookie, also playing. Good night, tonight. We're gonna have a very gracious meal. I think. I think. Uh, ain't you like the third, or fourth, or tenth generation cousin of Martha Stewart's uh, grandbaby, something other that was out there? Around the twelve. Somewhere in there, I think. Right. <laughs> anyway, it's good eat, guaranteed. Well, thank you for tuning in. I hope y'all join the Green Cup Club, and see.